I'm Bruce Perler. I'm uh, the Julius Jacobson Professor of Surgery at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, Vice Chair of Clinical Operations in the Department of Surgery. I'm the Medical Director of our Vascular Non-Invasive Laboratory, uh, Chief Emeritus of the Division of Vascular Surgery and Endovascular Therapy. I also serve as Vice President of the American Board of Surgery based in Philadelphia. We're very excited about this book. Uh, Rutherford's textbook has been sort of the classic uh, preeminent source for knowledge about vascular disease uh, for many years, but I think the 10th edition is, is really, truly superlative. We've worked very hard to, uh, recognizing how hard people work today, how busy everybody is. Everybody wants information as quickly and easily accessible as possible. So we've worked very hard to develop a book that includes roughly 200 very focused chapters, taking in past editions chapters that covered large swaths of material and breaking them up into specific areas of that particular clinical issue. So the, the material is presented to the reader in a very focused fashion in these very succinct chapters. Each chapter has a very granular detailed table of contents at the outset so one can figure out exactly where in the chapter to go to if it's a specific piece of information they want. Um, and what is new in the 10th edition that we're really very proud of is that almost all of the chapters include algorithms, either diagnostic or therapeutic algorithms, or in some cases, both diagnostic and therapeutic algorithms that provide really a flow chart uh, for the clinician, the reader to, to really understand how to evaluate and manage that particular clinical problem. Um, in addition to the you know, the totality of vascular and circulatory disease. We've worked very hard to also include very esoteric clinical challenges that the clinician may see once every 10 years, but we'll see that problem and then can go to this book and be rest assured that there's gonna be information on things like pediatric vascular disease, oncologic problems that increasingly vascular specialists are being asked to help manage. Um, so we're very proud of that. I mean, it's truly a comprehensive text that I'm not sure has a, has a, an equal in the field. Well, as I said, I think it provides the totality of information in a very focused fashion. Um, in addition, it's a book that it's not just vascular surgeons writing for vascular surgeons. It truly has a multidisciplinary authorship of the leaders in the respective fields of their areas of specialty, not just vascular surgeons, but general surgeons, urologic surgeons, cardiologists, interventional radiologists, and vascular medicine specialists. And it's a truly international authorship uh, because we're truly operating in a global economy and in a global healthcare system. And we have colleagues around the world who have expertise that may be advanced from what we're doing in the United States or in other areas. And we've brought these experts together in one book, in one place for the benefit of the reader. And it's a book that's not just for practicing physicians. It's an incredible resource for physicians in training for general surgery residents, vascular surgery residents and vascular surgery fellows. In my role at the American Board of Surgery, part of a lot of what we do is prepare examinations, qualifying and certifying examinations for board certification, as well as in-service examinations. And every single question that we ask has to be based on published literature on what's out there. And I can tell you, there's no book that is more frequently cited in the preparation of these questions than the Rutherford textbook, because it is the definitive source. And so it's a wonderful resource for trainees to prepare for their examinations. Well, clearly endovascular therapy uh, continues to rapidly evolve. And one of the hottest areas is, the endo, is in the endovascular treatment of complex aortic disease, complex aortic aneurysms. And we devote a good deal of attention to the endovascular treatment of thoracic, thoracoabdominal, and aortic aneurysms, and even aortic arch aneurysms, 
which I think is going to be one of the fastest moving areas in the future. And our textbook has chapters that address where we are today, where we're going, and how these patients should be managed or will be managed in the future. We also address uh, the mechanisms, in a sense, the business of medicine in terms of practice. We devote significant amounts of pages and, uh, and chapters to dealing with setting up, for example, outpatient office-based labs or outpatient dialysis centers. And for example, that's a chapter that's written not just by someone with an academic interest, but someone who has built and leads one of the most successful outpatient dialysis centers in the country, if not in the world. Um, multidisciplinary clinics and all of these challenges to set up and operate today are covered in great detail in the Rutherford, Rutherford textbook. And certainly cognizant of social media today and, and the internet, we devote areas and chapters to address the use of social media and other platforms in the diagnosis and management of our patients. Telemedicine, which has become so important in the COVID era and I think is gonna be part of our practices in the future, the Rutherford textbook addresses how to use those platforms most successfully for the clinician and for the benefit of their patient populations.